Good morning and welcome back, Lightroom users. In our last video, we did a complete image retouching strictly in Lightroom. And we got a comment asking about if you could do a tilt shift effect in Lightroom. So, of course you can. So what we're going to do is, I went out and asked Samantha to go out and take some more photos for us. So the beautiful Samantha here was, you know, again, she's a, a local model for me. And we just work really well together. She's just a doll to work with. So we went out and specifically took a couple images that are just in the wrong perspective so we could show you how to do this. So Samantha is sitting on this boulder and I actually climbed up on a boulder that was uh, in front of her to actually get above her to get a bad perspective of this image. And it's really easy to make this adjustment. Now I'm in Lightroom 5. If you have Lightroom version 4, um, I'll show you both ways in Lightroom 5. But Lightroom uh, 4 it will do the same adjustments. You just got to crop the image at the end of it. So where that adjustment is at is actually under just under your your adjustment panel if you go down to where it says lens corrections normally I had this turned off but in this image I've got it opened up but under your lens corrections you've got four different choices here you got your basic the profile color which you're going to use if you're going to remove some chromatic aberrations in your images or manual so in this image I'm going to use the manual settings so we're going to straighten her out just as if you would do it in Lightroom 4 what it would look like and then I'll show you what it looks like in Lightroom 5 because this is a new tool they added in Lightroom 5 so under the transform under this, the distortion uh, and if I go about 40 percent you'll see it kind of shrinks the image in but you start to see the outside the image has the little white edges. Now this is the version, what it would look like in Lightroom 4 for you, or 4.3 even. And then the vertical, if we did the same thing, do minus 40 to kind of straighten her up now, you still have the white lines. And then you can go in and adjust your horizontal. You can straighten her out just a little bit. Uh, about... 20 or so looks good on this image. So I'll just put 20. Rotate it. You know, I'm not going to have to rotate the image much, you know, but this is what happened. So you would just do the same thing. You could just rotate or straighten it up just a little bit if you wanted to. Then the scale, you know, if you want to use a scale, it'll blow it up, and that type of stuff. But what you'd have to do at this point is you'd have to go back now, and then you'd have to use your crop tool to go ahead and change this and, and take out the white sides of the image. So that's what you would do in Lightroom 4. Now Lightroom 5 added this little tool right here for us. The constrained crop. If you check this box, I'll run through the same settings now. Just watch the difference of the image. It's going to keep her in the image without putting the outsides out there. So if we go 40 on this one, just like we did in the, the, on the distortion, minus 40 on the vertical, We'll straighten her out. Horizontal. Uh, you, know, you can you do this basically however you like. We're just going to pull it up just about the same. About 10 looks really good. I can now scale this back just a little bit. And then we'll uh, rotate it just a hair to straighten her out. So... In Lightroom 5, they made this a little bit easier. Now it just keeps her in the image without having all the stuff on the outside to crop. But what you want to do in shooting these images, because it does crop it down as you go, is have an image where you're not going to cut off so much of her head or her or whatever. So in this image, um, what I would have done at the very last thing was now just gone to my crop tool. I can now move it up in Lightroom. This is again Lightroom 5, but you see on the outsides where it has adjusted the image and move it up and now I've actually kind of straightened her out so you can tilt it this way in either version Lightroom 4 or 5 um, you know Lightroom 5 has made it a little bit nicer and easier to keep the image 
what you're working on, you know, in the middle of the image instead of having the outsides that you're constantly going to have to go back and redo. So I hope this helps. Um, if, if I did not answer the question you're actually looking for, you know, send me another, another message back, and um, I, will, I will go back over them. But this is how you do the adjustments that way. It's, it's actually pretty simple to do. Um, you know, there's another, you know, another way Lightroom 5 has done it. If you have a horizontal line, you know, like a horizon you want to work on, you know, you can do it that way as well. But for model work, stuff like that, you can do it this way. You know, I like Lightroom 5 with that new tool, a new added that they put in there. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please, you know, send us an email or a comment. And we'll get back to you. Um, thank you very much, and hope this helps you guys. All right, thanks. Bye.